Hello Cancer, welcome to your bonus love reading, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Cancer, this is a collective love message for your sign. So please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation. Let's see. What do we have for you, Cancer? What do we have for Cancer, please? Okay. So Cancer, we are connecting this reading for you with someone who might have unhealthy habits. There is something here. They're coming here with the energy of parting. So I feel that this person is coming across as someone who might be non-committal. And there is something here about them prioritizing friends or that sort of kind of lifestyle over this connection. Mm -hmm. This is someone here, I feel, because mutual energy cancer, we have backstabbing. So this is um, with, with regards to connection. So what I am getting here is that for some of you, this is someone who broke your trust and broke that connection essentially and metaphorically saying it might felt like this person stabbed you in the back there is this very very strong energy of betrayal i feel that at the moment you are not uh, on a speaking terms yeah heartbreak breakup separation regarding union for some of you it was a marriage soul connection devotion yeah so it feels here that something didn't work out for some of you, this is someone who made you promises and they didn't deliver on those. But um, it might not resonate with all of you. However, I feel that this this person really kind of um, sabotaged this connection because of their habits. They didn't prioritize this uh, relationship or connection with you. And things didn't work out. And at the moment, it might be a case that, you know, Things are not great between the two of you. Mm. There is something here about release, releasing the past. It's like I feel that you might be dealing here cancer with someone who's conditioned by their past because overall energy we have, call, this person might be codependent. I feel that there is some sort of kind of emotional block as well. Yeah, deflection. But with this energy, something here is changing because what I am getting that for a lot of you, you might be not in a contact situation, cancer, because when it comes to your energy is um, looking at the pictures, missing your nostalgia. I feel that you are missing this person. You are reminiscing about time that both of you spent together and you would love this person to reach out to you. Mm hmm. Well, mutual energy, we also have butterfly, which is an energy of change. Healing. Let's see. Could you please show me this person's feelings and energy towards cancer and disconnection, please? Yeah, you are dealing here with someone who has abandonment issues. Strong defense mechanisms, you know, five of swords, self sabotage, the moon. Number 55, number 55, <laughs> Cancer might be quite important for you, or numbers 55 five might be of significance. We have the moon and the lovers. And we have the world. Okay, four of swords as an additional message, eight of swords, mm -hmm. overall energy. Okay, so you might be dealing with Libra, Libra, <laughs> so, you know, you might be dealing with another Libra. Um, why I said Libra, Cancer, oh my gosh, 
You might have very heavy placements in your chart in Libra. Hmm. So Cancer, you might be dealing with Libra, okay? We have Gemini, we have Pisces, we have your energy, Cancerian energy, also Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. Okay, so far in this reading for you. So, Cancer. There is something about this person, Cancer. It's like you are dealing with someone who feels that nothing is fair. I feel this person is playing most of the time a victim card. And by doing this, I feel this person could get away with many, many things till now because they have some sort of, you know, they always are finding an excuse to justify their actions. Yeah, you, you didn't hear with the five of, pen, mm, five of pentacles indeed, with someone who has abandonment issues. They are coming from the place of luck, but they are missing you. And because that place of luck is playing such a significant role, with the Five of Swords, this person has those tendencies to self-sabotage and I feel that they sabotage this connection. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. Five of Swords indicates here that this person played mind games. They were not fully transparent with you and they were very, very manipulative. And I feel that manipulation is coming from, from the fact that they are using that kind of, I don't know how to say it, victimhood or something like this, rather than just deal with certain things that that needs to, and those things need to be dealt with you didn't care with someone who has big big insecurities but they are missing a lot about you cancer the moon the lovers and the world for some of you this is someone here who indeed betrayed your trust because they were hiding some sort of connection and they were not fully transparent about this but mainly i feel this is someone who've never truly expressed how much you mean to them cancer because the moon it's like you know there are secrets and the lovers it's that feelings that they have for you and they've sabotaged it sabotaged this the world well they feel unfinished business that's the thing we have also the just justice there is a need for this and it's very interesting that this card came in the first position cancer because there is a need that it's like universe is telling this person listen you need to come forward and treat the situation with fairness and justice because you've acted in an in in a not particularly great way it's not okay you need to balance things out with cancer so if there is no contact situation between the two of you this person is thinking a lot about you because you are in their energy. They are missing you. They are hiding this. It might be, you know, because if you are not on the speaking terms and four of swords here indicates that indeed there might be no contact situation because that's a passive energy. They're hiding their feelings. You... This is someone, Cancer, who doesn't, it's like when they're starting to feeling, have emotions. For instance, what I am getting here is that when they're starting having some sort of emotions to you, uh, they took a very, very strong step back. This is like a defense mechanism. This person is afraid of love. It's afraid of being emotionally hurt or go to some sort of kind of, you know, emotional upheaval. And that's why they sabotage this connection. What I am getting also very strongly here, Cancer, that it wouldn't surprise me if this person is coming across as someone who is just having a great time. They are happy that they are single or it's like, you know, they are happy where they are. That they are having fun mm, it's a facade eight of swords this person is very stuck in their head 
Okay, overthinking, overanalyzing instead of going with the flow. Let's see. Could you please show me Cancer's energy and feelings towards this person and this connection, please? Ace of Cups. Queen of Swords. You might be dealing with Gemini. Queen of Wands. Two of Wands. King of Wands. And we have Nine of Wands. Gosh. You might be dealing with Leo. Sc mm. Scorpio might be. Leo, um, Aries, Sagittarius. Page of Cups. There's an overall energy for your for your part of the reading here, Cancer. I feel that you see this person as your, as your match. You know, we have a Queen of Wands and King of Wands here. This is a pair. You know, for some of you, it feels very strongly here that you might see this person as your divine counterpart. But I feel this person indeed wasn't fully transparent here. You don't trust them with the Nine of Wands. You have your guard up. You're setting very strong boundaries here. But two of one suggests that... I feel that you are thinking a lot about them, you know. I don't feel... There is also this energy of waiting for this person to reach out. I'm not seeing you particularly holding your breath. But I feel that you truly want this person to reach out to you. With the Queen of Swords, I feel that you are open. Uh, for communication you, you would like to have that conversation with them ace of cups you i feel that you would you would I, i'm getting here very strongly cancer that you are welcoming that you you would like okay you would like to talk with them but i'm seeing here that you do have very very strong feelings you you wish for this person to come forward to make that offer of love and peace with you to heal this connection essentially Mm hmm but I feel that you have your guard up in general because what this person puts you through we have a page of cups as an overall energy but here's the thing I feel that you have very very pure and good intentions towards this whole situation I mean towards this person I should have said really For some of you, there was a situation when you reach out to this person, but it's like they didn't reply or they were very dismissive. For some of you, this is someone who puts you in a third party situation with this Queen of Wands. And they were quite harsh with their words. When you demanded some sort of explanation could you please show me the outcome? Oh, what? Knight of Wands, okay. Four of Cups. An Ace of Pentacles with Page of Swords as an overall energy. <laughs> this person is spying on you. If there is no contact situation, they are spying on you. We have a Knight of Wands and a Queen of Cups. Okay. So this is an energy that they are coming in to this outcome. Knight of Wands with the Queen of Cups suggests that this person is going to reach out to you. And I feel that they will be very, very nice. There is something here with the Queen of Cups. They're going to shower you with compliments. But Knight of Wands, and this is very important... Knight of Wands is very inconsistent energy. So if this person's been very in and out, hot and cold with you in the past, Knight of Wands suggests that they are coming here with the same attitude. And there is something here, and I feel this is something that you should know. Okay? They're going to reach out. I feel this person is missing your energy, missing your love with the Queen of Cups. But you didn't care with someone who can be very moody because Queen of Cups can be quite 
can have, there is a tendency with regards to Queen of Cups as this energy um, can uh, change their emotions. It emotions, sorry. <laughs> yeah. So I feel quite strongly that this person with the, because Knight of Wands, it's very action orientated energy. So this is action. So this person will take action with the Queen of Cups because they are missing you. They are missing your love. They are missing your care. They are missing your support. But it is important to emphasize here, Cancer, that this person is coming with the same energy and the same attitude. They haven't changed based on this reading. Four of Cups is a mutual energy. Well, at the moment, I feel that you know, this situation obviously is not working for you. But at the same time, this is someone here who is not particularly 100% fulfilled uh, full and satisfied with the state of affairs in their life and regarding this connection. Because Four of Cups is this energy of apathy, of boredom, you know, dissatisfaction. And that's mutual. So they feel that way as well. And we have an Ace of Pentacles here, Cancer. Also your energy that you are coming into this, re into this outcome and the final card. Well, offer here will be made, Cancer. This person here will make an offer and it will feel like it's a solid offer. Is it a solid offer? Mm. Knight of Cups. It will be an offer of, of, of peace and an and, and offer of love. So they will try to apologize, kind of. The Hermit, you might be dealing with Virgo and the Hierophant, Taurus. This is someone here who will claim that that time apart made them think with the, with the Hierophant. And now it's like they are reala realizing that they want a stable relationship. The Magician, this person will try very, very hard to convince you that it's true. Wheel of Fortune, which brings change and the chariot, action, movement, movement forward. So it feels here very strongly, Cancer, that this person is going to claim that they now want a serious relationship, that they had time to think about all of this and they realized that they're seriously missing you. But this Knight of Wands is still there. And because the cards are very, very kind of strong. We also had this ma magician. A magician can be someone who is very skillful with their words. You know, quite a charmer. Know exactly what to say. Know how to pull the heartstrings. That, that looks great, you know, overall. But we have this Knight of Wands. And this is someone who still comes with the same attitude. That inconsistency and being inconsistent in and out, hot and cold. Mm -hmm. But they will make an offer here. They will apologize. Oh, it's like they will try to make amends with you. Because for some of you, this is someone who will not really apologize. But it's like they will try to make amends with you without saying sorry. Mm -hmm. Page of Swords is an overall energy. Curiosity. This person is very, very curious about you. If you have social media, they're checking on a daily basis your social media. Cancer. I feel this is a mutual energy actually. What I am getting here that you might be missing them, but at the same time, if there is no contact situation, you might be curious uh, what's going on in this person's life. You know, like, like really. Nevertheless, it feels very strongly for some of you within a week or two weeks, this person is going to reach out to you, Cancer, and they will try to make amends with you. Cancer, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Cancer, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I am sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.